tundra biome. Apparently peaceful, the tundra has a rich and unique biodiversity. The word tundra means treeless mountain tract, and that is what characterizes this biome precisely. It is among the coldest biomes on the planet. In the north, it includes regions of Siberia, Alaska, the southern part of Greenland, the northern part of Canada, and Europe. This area is commonly called Arctic tundra. This biome is also part of northern Antarctica, adjacent islands, and areas in Chile and Argentina. The temperatures of this biome range from minus 40 degrees in the winter to 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. More than a third of the carbon obtained from the soil is in the taiga and tundra biomes. Although the tundra landscape looks visibly white with cold waters, wildlife successfully develops both at sea and on land. Some of the best known species that inhabit the tundra are the Arctic fox, caribou, polar bear, walrus, wolf, muskox, Arctic hare, fur seal, snowy owl, albatross, salmon, trout, some species of penguin and various types of seals. Land animals that inhabit this biome have thick fur or several layers of feathers to withstand the cold as well as an important fat storage that enables thermoregulation. Several of these animals have white coats, either all year as the snowy owl, or only during the winter as the arctic fox, which gives them an adequate camouflage for the environment. The flora is not as plentiful and varied as in the jungle, but you might find unique types of plants such as mosses, lichens, liverworts, aquatic and terrestrial algae, pulsatillas and labrador tea plants. This vegetation makes the colorful landscapes that are seen in the tundra during the summer, because the melting and the sunlight provide them the elements to growth. Most parts of the tundra are far from human settlements, but this does not mean that they are free from threats. The wildlife of this place is very vulnerable to environmental stress, such as reduced snow precipitation or the increasingly hotter temperatures caused by global warming. Over the past 30 years, the Arctic tundra has lost 75% of the volume of its sea ice also. Oil companies keep exploring the ocean of these regions, although environmental groups try to prevent this. Follow us in the social networks. Twitter. Facebook. YouTube. Pinterest. Google Plus, SoundCloud and others. For more information visit bioexpedition.com.